Hello, I'm Jeremiah Shaver. I'm a multimedia journalist with The Telegram. Today I'm bringing you guys a video from downtown Wellston where we are at my brother's place where we're going to sit down with the director here to learn more about a grant that my brother's place is receiving in the amount of $200,000. Those funds are coming from Ohio's capital budget and we're going to learn about some renovations that are going to happen here at this facility in downtown Wellston. The Telegram was able to sit down with Connie Pelletier, who is the director of My Brother's Place, to talk about the funding she received. Okay, we're going to talk about the uh, grant that we just been approved. It's two hundred thousand dollars. That doesn't. I know it sounds like a lot, but what, with what we need to do, it's it's really not a lot of money. But without the renovations that we have planned this building would deteriorate farther. So without this, we would not be able to supply what we give to the community. We need a new roof. We need lighting on the inside and the out. Um, the electrical needs to be replaced and upgraded because we have three huge freezers and two huge refrigerators so we need to have a generator because if the electric goes out we lose all of our food we are planning on uh, doing a new front porch a new back porch and a, we have a ramp now for people that you know the ada um, but that needs to be upgraded and fixed so we need um better parking we are now using gravel and the 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 um, incline on it is mess so it's really hard to get a car up there and it's hard for people that don't drive and have to come for food when they bring a little cart you know it's hard for them to navigate also so we're going to have cement from the street to the back of the building which will help them go to the 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 ramps also that's all we only ask thanks to tammy tammy phillips who pretty much wrote this grant for us and then i just had to fill in some information um, and then we'll the money will go through my brother's place but we're so thankful because we don't have the money to do these renovations um, Yes, we could have asked for more, but we only asked for what we thought we really needed. I know that, and this came from the uh, capital budget, so there's no payback on the $200,000, where a lot of grants, you have to either match it with a 20% or 50%. So this is free money for us, which is free money for the community for what we provide. We are held accountable this is totally ran. This building was donated in 1995 by William Warner. Um, and it is ran by the Wellston Ministerial Association, which is the any preacher in town that wants to join that can. But they have a president, they have a, a treasurer, and I meet with them once a month and report everything, our income, our expenses, what's going on, um, what we've applied for because we do apply for other grants so and Tammy helps me with that too I don't know yeah I really don't know what I do without her but um, as far as donations go we do take um, clothing and food donations but we ask that you bring those during the business hours and here's why People think, well, blah, blah, blah. But here's why. If you leave it outside, number one, it's going to get rained on, possibly. There are people who go through it and make a mess with it. Or it gets ruined, and we have to throw it in the dumpster. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, we don't want you to leave good donations, something that can, we can really use outside, because then we may have to throw it away. So we would miss the opportunity to get money for what you've left out there. So that's why we ask. 
Now I did try to do a Monday night, so that way if you're working, but if you get in contact with me, we have a Facebook page, Wellston My Brother's Place. You can send a message and I'll be glad to meet you here if you have things to donate. We tried to open up on a Monday, the first Monday of the month, uh, for two hours, but no one really utilized that. So if you contact me, I will meet you here if you have donations that you can't make it during our business hours, which are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10 to 3. Well, we'll take, we can't take appliances or anything big. We don't have the room for that. Um, we take clothing, mainly. A few knickknacks, some dishes, things like that. Puzzles, we'll take, um, oh, what is the, the adult diapers, mm -hmm. adult garments, anything mm -hmm. like that. We'll take uh, cleaning supplies that we can hand out to people that need it. We don't have really room for a lot of big toys. And usually when we get toys, we just give them away. We don't charge the kids. The kids come in with their parents and we just give them the toys mostly. I don't think we've charged anything for toys for a long time. But what we make in the thrift store now as of March of this year has totally paid for all of our utilities. We have gas company, electric company, bogs. We, we don't have bugs because we have bogs and we've never seen bugs in here. Um, we have internet. We have to have internet because we have a contract with the Southern Ohio Food Bank in Logan. That's where we get our food when I order food. And during COVID, it was free. However, starting in March or February of this year, we had to start paying for it, which it's only 15 cents a pound. So if you want to donate, it's, it's better. Your money will go farther if you donate money because I can get the food a lot cheaper than you can. Even with Rick at the Piggly Wiggly, He's been wonderful. If I, if I get low on like peanut butter or cereal, um, he'll give me a really good price on that. Because when we order from Logan, they give us a list of what we can order. And it's not always, they don't always include things like peanut butter or cereal or soup, which we try to give, you know, to people. Um, we have two sizes of boxes, one small and one large. If, if there's only one person in the family, they get a small, but it's a three day emergency supply, which they can pick up once a month. Now, when they come in, we put them in the system, everyone in the family, we need you know the, the names, we need the birth dates. We do not ask for income we need to know where they live. If they live in the Wellston School District, they need to bring in their photo ID and they need to bring in like a, a, an electric bill, some kind of water bill, any kind of proof, even if it's insurance, that has their name and their address that shows that they live in the, in the Wellston School District. We get their phone number so that if we get something special in, we can give them a call and say, hey, we just got this in. Would you like to come in and pick it up? Um, we make sure that our food, we get inspected by Logan. We, we have to uh, log the temperatures in our freezers and our refrigerators every day to make sure that, you know, they're safe, keeping our food safe. We have to uh, make sure that none of our food, canned food, is outdated. So they do inspect to make sure that we're doing everything proper. Um, General Mills has been really good to donate not only money, but uh, food. They'll bring in cases of cereal when they have excess. Um, we have a few citizens that send me donation checks every month. So we rely on that. We have a business that sends me money. We get money from the United Fund in Jackson. We get money from the Lions Club. We get money from um, 
the American Wellston American Legion even the Elks and Jackson gives us money now this isn't a monthly thing for all of them but maybe quarterly and we rely on that to make sure that everything that comes in pays for everything that goes out we need you know we need to do that because in previously I know we've I've been told that the ministerial association has had to give money here to keep it going we want to make sure that we can be self-sustaining as far as purchasing food and taking care of people that need it and I have not seen anyone try to take advantage we are Christian based we have signs up if you need prayer ask we have Bibles if someone comes in and we have a sign up if you need a Bible just ask we do keep those under the counter but we have all of our books we have a lot of books and they're free we have a lot of puzzles that are free our clothing there's nothing more than maybe two dollars or three dollars and that's only if it's a coat a big item um, most of the time all of our pants all of our shirts shoes are a dollar a dollar each you can't beat that and we have a lot of donations that still have the tags on them so we're when we get clothing in that we feel isn't quite up to par to sell we have um, a gentleman that comes here we'll call him and say hey we've got a bunch of this what we do is we box it up and it he takes it to Corey Pariso in Columbus I don't know he's from Wellston and he has a food and clothing giveaway in Columbus so nothing gets wasted we also if something's really torn we have rag bags so if you're in need of rags and you can come in and get it's a tall kitchen bag for I think it's two dollars maybe for the whole bag of rags we also on um, almost every Friday we have a rag bag we have a bag sale we call our bag sale which you can get the the uh, tall kitchen bag for five dollars plus tax you can stuff anything you can get in it for five dollars plus tax I started here May 26th last year which is my birthday okay so I've been here a little over a year now we have we have wonderful volunteers because we also do the senior boxes which comes from Logan once a month we take care our our building takes care of the senior boxes which is separate from what we give out monthly they deliver it and Gary and Sharon Stabler take care of that now they will be out front once a month it's the first Tuesday of the month now with that I have the applications for that you need uh, your income you need uh, I need to uh, you fill out the application bring it back to me I get a picture of I have to have a picture of your photo ID then I send it to Logan and then Logan will contact you and that's for seniors 65 I believe in up okay. whatever the state calls a senior citizen so while well, I was talking about Kroger's Kroger's there's two things I need to discuss about Kroger's now if you um, go online and apply every everything everything that you buy from Kroger's a percentage of that can come to us like last month I think they sent me eighteen dollars and forty two cents because people when they use their card mm. their Kroger card they can make sure that a part of that goes to their charity and that would be my brother's place so I need people to sign up on that um, Kroger's also I have volunteers that will pick up on certain days anything that they they donate which would is usually fresh produce now it it's not 
it's outdated soon, but we still have a few days, and that's once a week that I have volunteers to go pick it up and bring it to us. We stick it in the fridge. So we do have seasonal clothing out. We put summer out in the spring, and then in the fall we'll put our winter clothing out. We try to make sure that, well, we do make sure that all the, the ch children's clothing is one place, the men's is one place, the women's, so that, you know, it's pretty organized. We try to make sure the sizes and the, are in line on, on the racks, but I can't say enough about the volunteers. We have several volunteers, and if they're um, old enough, I sign them up for RSVP through Jackson, so that once in a year, I think they have a luncheon, or you know they may give them a gift card. So if you're a senior, then we'll sign you up for that. Um, my volunteers are above and beyond wonderful. They, and we will, you know, if you would like to volunteer. I'd love for you to come in and talk to me about it, or you can call, and our phone number is 740-855-4545. Now, there is a website out there for my brother's place. I did not start that. I don't even know how to get in and change it because it has, the hours are wrong, the phone number's wrong, so if you need to get in touch with us, we'll, we ask that you do it through Facebook or through you know, come in and see us um, about volunteering or if you need food. We do have a few homeless that we give food to. We have about 100 people come in a month, but they may have several in their family. So we feed around 1,700 a month, give or take 100. But we send all of that information to Logan so they keep track of it. That's why we have to have Wi-Fi. They have to be in the system, and, and when we give out food, we put it in the system that, you know, they were here. The telegram learned from Palatier on Wednesday, August 28th, that my brother's place officially received the allocation of funding, so renovations would be starting very soon.